Hi, my name is Jeannie and I'm the owner of Riveting Trips. I hope you enjoy our trip to Santa Barbara. If you'd love to have your travels planned, contact me at rivetingtrips.com. So this is the Monarch Butterfly Preserve in Goleta. You see here it's a lot of trees. And this is the perfect place to actually go for a run. I would run, this morning I ran um, from this place to along the coast. It's about a half mile inland and about a mile and a half, two miles from the Ritz-Carlton Bacara, which is in Goleta, you can kind of see, and there you go, here we go, take a look at the trees up top, All right, amazing. So if you're looking for the perfect escape, you know, this is a perfect place for a family holiday, a honeymoon. I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but it is. It's right near the ocean. You can see a lot and experience a lot. All right. It says you're on the butterfly path. can't really hear the sea life. You'd have to get closer to the coast. But I'll show you where the sea is. So if you ever come to Santa Barbara, this is where you go. So we're continuing up the path of the butterfly resort, or butterfly preserve. You're gonna see the ocean in just a bit. Wait for it, I swear it's really, really spectacular. So, here we go. Okay, here we go. So we made it to the ocean, guys. We made it. Jason, you wanna say hi? Hi, guys. There we go, there's Jason. Where's Mina, where's Mina? There we go, Mina, hi, Mina. There we go, there's your panoramic shot.
So there are elevators on site, so if you have limited mobility, you can take an elevator. Currently, one of their COVID precautions is to limit to one to two people at a time or one family at a time. And then here is the Vista. This is a rather large property. So we're gonna to continue to go down the steps towards the pool. Okay, so there are two pools on camp, on site. You do need to make reservations for the pools and you need to make reservations for a few of the restaurants too. So the pool is open currently from 10 to 8. And there's a hot tub, but you have to inquire about that. And you'll see social distancing signs. You can tell they're getting ready to open the pool. And this is the bistro restaurant. You do need to make reservations to eat at the bistro. There's outside dining and inside dining. And there's a pool cabana slash, you know, you get some fast food at the cabana. FYI, there is natural tar in the area. So they do, you know, ask you to keep your shoes on after you, before you return inside the hotel. And the hotel does give you some stuff to remove the tar. But really, one of the reasons why you come to this hotel is the views. So if you see here, okay, so there's your pool. This is the pool that our kids went to go to yesterday. And you get three hour shifts and you have to empty out the pool and they disinfect it. So you're pretty close. So you, I'll show you yesterday I ran up this little hill. Okay, so if you take this hill to the top, that's the top of the bluff, then I'll take you to the hotel parking lot. You can also obviously get valet. And so I think these villas, nine and 10, are probably the best ones to have. Um, if you want, actually want the top, I think it's number six, I forget, I have to check. And then if you take the trail down, that leads you to the beach. And this beach connects you to there, it's close to the tennis courts. So as you can see, here are the rooms. <laughs> here are the rooms, everybody. And I think if you can get one of these rooms here, where I'm pointing, that's where you want to stay because you actually have views of the ocean. And then what you can see, I don't know if you can see down there, there are some sandpipers on the beach. There's a lot of sandpipers and pelicans. So if you're interested in wildlife, you can do lots of wildlife viewing. 
Okay. So, there are your sand diapers are down there. Okay, let's continue walking. Okay, here I am in Santa Barbara. This is the private beach of the hotel, the Hotel Bacara. And you'll see, let me take off my mask so you can hear me. This is the Bacara Hotel. And then you can see, like I said, there's a ton of sand peppers down here. Folks, it is a nice getaway. And because it is a private beach, there aren't a lot of people on it. So this is the bistro restaurant that I was talking about before. And right near the bistro, is this trail here. And if you take this trail, it'll lead you to the tennis courts. So it's called the Chuash Nature Trail. So this area, it says here, Bacara sits in peaceful, protected Bell and Tecolote canyons, an area known to the Chumash Native American people as the Hela Punitse, I don't know, which means place of shovel-nosed guitar fish, okay? So this is all native plants around here. It's a nice respite. Not like the hotel is hustle and bustle, but you get my drift. Let's walk through this hotel, or the trail for a little bit. So if you're like me, you love conservation and reusable stuff. So I do love the California native plants, to be quite honest. And I would always recommend if, you know, I'm not a person that remodels my home very much, but if you can, get native plants. It helps the environment, folks. And this is a little bridge here coming up. It's really cute. Maybe perfect for a little backdrop for uh, wedding photos or engagement photos or just family pictures all together. See? I love little bridges like this. They're beautiful, right? Okay. I did not get to check out the wine tasting room. But it looks very nice, obviously. And then for breakfast and quick bites, or if you forgot some provisions, there is the drip, I guess it's called, or first drop, sorry. 
and then parking. So when you drive into the Ritz, you have to kind of go through a roundabout. I'll show you.